a 15 count fraud indictment. There are six alleged victims and a bank. He's a free man tonight, but his tactical business is closed as part of the federal investigation. The feds arrest this Dodge County Sheriff's deputy in a suspected $11 million fraud case. While Craig Harbaugh was working as an investigator, he also owned Tactical Solutions Gear LLC in Fremont. The firearms business is closed, and court documents show Harbaugh filed for bankruptcy in July. Prosecutors allege the 44-year-old used his business in an investment scheme. Investigators believe he told people he had secured multi-million dollar contracts with the Nebraska State Patrol and Department of Defense. Here's the breakdown of the reported losses. The amounts ranged from $40,000 to $4.9 million. Court documents allege Harbaugh would falsify documents and photographs to convince his six investors and Great Western Bank he had wholesale orders for firearms, ammunition, and gear. Alleged victims reportedly communicate with Harbaugh through email and misspelled texts, such as this one. Thanks a lot for losing all of our retirement money. You just kept taking our money. No word yet where the alleged victims live or how Harbaugh met them. Great Western Bank did share this statement. The bank's policy is to not comment on pending legal matters. The bank has secured through a third party the inventory that was at the store, and we are fully cooperating with the authorities in regards to this matter. The Dodge County Sheriff says his office is also working with federal authorities and will conduct its own investigation into the deputy's conduct. Harbaugh was immediately placed on administrative leave. He was in federal custody until Wednesday. The judge granted him release while his case moves through court. The judge also ordered Harbaugh to turn in any firearms and also to stop contacting the alleged victims. If found guilty of all 15 counts, Harbaugh faces up to 320 years in prison. Rob, back to you.